Ben Samuel, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, before we go any further, for the sake of fairness, mm. here is a video from Harrison. Harrison says he's going to join us later. Harrison is not disrespecting you. Harrison is not disrespecting the audience. No, no Daddy Freeze, I've seen the video. He's on the plane. I do understand, absolutely. Oh, okay. I wanted to show it to people on YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook yeah. so they can see that, oh, because next thing they'll say is Harrison does not consider us important. That's why he's not nah, here. Absolutely here no, is yeah. Harrison, guys. Sorry, let me make this louder. I'm in a Sabah airport, uh, flying to Lagos, uh, uh, airpiece, so I won't be joining the live program, you know, this is our 6 3 uh, p.m., so this is... Can I see the wing of the plane? So once I get to Lagos and uh, you guys are still alive, I'll, I'll join them. All right. So safe flight, Harrison. Safe flight. Um... Uh... Uh, we are here with Ben. Um, you have questions for Harrison. Ben has questions for Harrison. The public has questions for both Ben and Harrison. We're going to start with uh, a lady who wanted to ask you questions yesterday. Let's start with that. Um, and a lot of people wanted questions. Please, now, no name calling. I don't want to see Ben the accomplice. He has not been proven guilty. If he's guilty, then we will say, okay, we have the guilty one. Right now, he is not even accused. Let him speak. Ask him any question on your mind. Feel free. Whatever okay. Whatever I'm here. If you want to achieve, feel free. Let me remove my account. It was only somebody that asked for that, so that should not uh, interfere with this. So right. who wants to go first? I'm calling Samaria. She was supposed to be here with us. She's, she asked the first question. We also, remind me who else was with us yesterday. Um, uh, Sabio. Guys, tag Sabio. And the third person was some other guy. Those were the people who were asking, Ben, can you turn off the TV in your background? Please. Okay. People are saying it's Sorry, distracting. Guys. Sorry, guys. So while we're waiting for these people to join, Ben, is there anything you want to say? Okay. Uh, good evening, guys. Um, I think something is echoing there. Is that no, me? it was me. It was okay. uh, Harrison's video. I've reduced the video. Uh, um, Chris Bassi. Now, God bless you. Have Chris Bassi. Thank you. Go ahead. Now, we must not forget the reason why we are doing this is about the two young ladies that are still missing. We don't have a definite answer to where they are, and that must be our primary concern. Um, the, the two people are still missing, and as far as I'm concerned, I believe that we can still put an effort to find them wherever they are. The reason why I initiated or instigate this conversation is because there was misinformation and incorrect information that was put out initially when this incident happened. Because when it happened, none of you guys are aware that this suspect has been transferred to be coming to Abuja. It happened behind the door. And when the incident happened in Benue, there was information put out that was not the correct information. And it was put out on your platform. And I immediately called corrected it the next day and I said this is not what actually happened because when the information was dropped out the information was dropped out like we left Benway, we left Abba and we we'll get to Benway. So there was two block of information that was missing which the result of Benway, uh, Uyo and the Benway, the couple of days that they spent on the road. So that was a very vital information. So when we look at the vehicle as well, there was so many questions to be asked about it and for me, I understand what this suspect told me on his way. And we must understand one thing as a country. It's an alleged he has not been convicted. I don't know why I would get this idea from. In Nigerian constitution, it clearly 
carefully stated that you are innocent until you are proven guilty. It doesn't matter the perspective of the society in a large, every legal practitioner know that you are innocent until you are proven guilty. At the same time, the Harrison that we're talking about now, he was innocent until he was proven guilty. So the opportunity to give to um, a suspect is very important. And I believe the government failed. I personally have no problem with Harrison, and I don't see the need to even debate him. But there was a fundamental difference between me and him as in the direction that the conversation was going. Because my own understanding is this. There was a tragedy that took place. There's a problem that happened. How do we see that this does not happen again? In a developed society, that is what people see. If there's a, a building that is collapsed, they think, what can we do? Even though people are going to get punished, the lesson must be learned. When it happened on the 3rd of June, when this guy was taken out, or the 2nd of June, the understanding was this guy is out, so the story is over. I'm like, the story is not over. There were so many failures that happened to that day, and we must correct it. And this is why I am holding this conversation, and I've taken it upon my head to make sure we are extending that conversation. So I have no personal problem with Harrison. I just have a fundamental differences with how we approach this uh, problem. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and like I said uh, before you came, the thoughts of the people joining us to ask questions are not Daddy Freeze's thoughts. Mm -hmm. The thoughts of the public and the commenters are not Daddy Freeze's thoughts. Yeah. Neither are the thoughts of Ben or Harrison. I'm here for the uh, pursuit of justice and accountability, clarity, and transparency. Mm -hmm. So the first person, one of the people who was asking questions yesterday uh, was, I am Chris Bassey, a Nollywood producer. He was with us. I'm sure you remember his face, Ben. Yes, I did. I just popped up his, uh, quickly yesterday. Last night. So yes. Chris is here with us. Chris, go ahead. Okay. Uh, this is... Chris, can you stay in one place? Okay, okay. I'm here. Okay. I was in the store where I didn't know your life would be now. Okay, now, you have a friend who is wanted. Based on what you posted on your telegram there was a chat between you and him you stated that where are they taking you to don't worry i will make some calls for you it's like somebody trying to see what he can do to help a friend now i have this upbringing that my mama where born me don't lock me up a police station when i was in secondary school mm -hmm. because of Okay, I sit down here, no sit down here, I don't really listen. There are some people that you see, you know that this guy is wanted in the UK. Hold mm -hmm. on, now if it's in America, somebody is wanted, declared. Can wanted. you excuse me? Can I you ask your question, that, please? I need your okay, question. No, okay, 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 fine. Now, this guy you know is wanted in the UK, and you visited him in Nigeria once or twice. You've seen him. Yes. Why was there no report to the UK authorities that? which I believe there was a bounty on, on the declared wanted, whatever, that ah, this guy is in Nigeria, that's number one. Number two, there was a chat between you and him when he was being transported to Abuja. Now, you allege that he called you when he escaped, that he said, I'm escaping. So for him to have called you, that means you are in close confidence. He like, this is the person I can run to. This is, if it happens, this is the first person I will call. Can you, then, excuse me, Daddy Freeze, Daddy Freeze. I am not here to hear what we already have. Ask your Ask question. Ask your question. Okay, 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 okay. now, Ask this, is the, question. this yeah. is the question. Okay, this is the question. Now, this whole thing has happened. Yeah. I would like to know why is the identity of the lady that this phone was transferred to our account hidden? Why is it not made known to, to the public? This is a favor of a girl. Which favor of a girl? The person, origin, I mean, um, what's it called? Andrew transferred money to our account. That did that transfer of the 1.5, 1.7. You see, 
Okay, thank you. Would you like me to answer the question? Are you going to give me a chance yeah. to answer the question? Yeah, All right. Yeah, sure, sure. Nigerians, I want you to listen very well. The incident happened on the 8th and the man was in police cell up to the 22nd. The favor you are talking about, the favor you are talking about, the police has the account and everything. Whatever you think you are publishing yesterday yeah, yeah. that tried to say a girl, because Harrison take a screenshot of my phone, um, it has nothing to do with the investigation because the police have all the evidence. So if you have any question, okay. why don't you direct that question to the authority in Nigeria? Excuse me, please. That the girl that was missing, her money was transferred to another account. What do you think police police supposed to do at that particular time under the investigation? Did they transfer it to my account? Was it my name? No. And by the way, again, you got all the information wrong because it was yesterday. I now saw the name because Harrison saw favor on the screenshot that he took from my YouTube channel, and then he copied it and quickly make it up. Favor that you are talking about is a man, it's not a girl. The police in Abia State has the whole information. So you should get your facts right. And this is the character deformation, blackmailing that Harrison has resulted into, creating 2,000 groups to be trolling me. But that will never take the truth away. And I want you, before you bring anything out on the platform, you need to have your facts right and straightforward. Don't come with half truth because you're going to meet somebody that knows what he's doing. So your question is invalid because everything you say there is invalid. So go back to the book again and contact the authority to go arrest the person that the money went to their account. They can do it. I can do nothing. Okay, sir. Now let me ask the second one. If it's in Nigeria now, mm -hmm. you are in Nigeria now, let's assume, and the police stop you on the way, they realize that there is a man who has is wanted in the UK. He mm. has been sending the explicit photos huh? of women that came to his place. Like those two girls, I saw the video that he did that they were naked. And I, I'm not judge, I'm not talking about you psychology. video that there is no way. That they were hold on. on, don't use the you word. Hold on, okay, okay. That is okay. okay. Daddy Freeze, okay, okay. I've sent you the, the video. On your telegram. So, the I've one on your telegram. I want you to... Yeah. No, sorry. Excuse me. I heard you yesterday. I heard you enough. Don't, don't bring wrong information because the first accusation happened and the misconception okay. happened here. Don't forget, nobody knew anything that I have anything about this young yeah. lady. It was yeah. me that popped out and I said, this case must be highlighted. And I met just other two and I showed her the video that you are assuming now. I showed it to her and we in interpreted it. I have forwarded it to Daddy Freeze. You can interpret it and be fair with yourself. If you think those picture is on a life, that is your own judgment. The government have it as well. So you don't come here. Somebody who helped. Because as far as you are concerned, that case was over the day the guy died in, um, sorry, the guy, the, 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 guy, the guy was fired. Bye. In Benway, that case was over for you. The lap dance is done, but the case is still going on and it's getting stronger because there are people that need to take responsibility for what they have done. So this is what I'm interested in. I'm not interested in account. The police in Nigeria have the authority to take that. So talk to them instead of looking for me. And also, you talked about. Let, excuse me. Let me. Somebody said they are let looking finish. for you. Okay. To me, but let me let me come in something. Okay, Wait, me, I, you know, I, I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to answer question. And if you argue okay. with me, I stop out. Let me tell you something. You have, have a police in Nigeria, didn't you have a police? Now you are telling me now that the young lady that I saw, I should have reported to police. This guy, police, arrested him five times. What did you not understand? A state failure, a country failure. A whole departmental failure or a failure of one person that is not snitching on a psychopath friend. He has been arrested. You are here when Richard told you I went to the station with injury. 
and they sent me away. What do you have to say about that? Okay, now this is it. I ask you, like I said, I said, what do you have to say about that? That Richard went to the station in January and they sent her away. Say something. Yeah, because yeah, I, I, I spoke with Rachel. I, I spoke with her two days ago for over one hour. Now, this is what I'm saying. And like the question Rachel asked, like I'm saying, why? There's no way that... I am asking you now, forget about why. Me. Don't go back. Don't change it. Forget about why, sir. The police in your country, just imagine police in the UK. Somebody will go and report to police in the UK and let the person go. A second time, fourth time, third time. Whose failure is that? Why are you changing the narrative to the police? It's because not, even in the UK, oh in the God, America, we have corrupt cops. I'm not talking to you. Cop. Get out. I'm not talking to you. And I mean it. I Can you imagine? It. Uh, guys, please calm down. Please, let please. them be calm. You are, uh, you, excuse me, yeah. sir. You have a mission to come and attack me, but I want you to use if your I'm number 10. Wait, Chris, Chris, Bros, don't attack. There's a police in your country okay. who failed to arrest the young, the man when he offended. What can I do to save that? Why don't you say, if this failure was corrected in January, in February, in two years ago, there wouldn't have been that. So what are you looking for? Jumping the gun? Okay. Okay, you, you make your point about the police. Now, what I ask is, why were you giving assurance to a person that was wanted, he has been captured in Nigeria, and you are telling him that, Please, you will see what you can do before that he, he tried to escape. When he was still in custody, based on the screenshot on your own, own telegram, you were mm -hmm. assuring, giving him assurance that you will see what you can do to help him out of it. The problem. Okay. That he can still come back to the UK. Okay. okay. Where did you, you saw that on my telegram that I say well, I, I can see what telegram. you can do. I have the screenshot. When he was, was in jail? When he was in Abba, you told him that you will see how you can help him out. You will make some phone calls. When, when, when did you yeah. see the telegram? And what date can, is that? that is what date? I don't know the date, but it's what date, is it? what date is it? What date was, is it? There was no it's date the, there. So you are saying the fabrication It's on the 8th. Stop, stop, stop. August, stop. Okay, August. Fine. Okay, Make it stop. Fine, fine. It's on the 8th. Right. I made it clear on several of my video that on the 8th, the guy called me and said, police barricaded my house and I want to pie myself. And I'm like, don't do things like that. The telegram are there. So when you come on the platform, Please complete what you are doing. Complete it. Don't pick something and try to narrate it in your own way. Okay? The guy say, I want to, I say, don't do anything silly. Hand over yourself to them. Go read it back again. I fully okay. put it there. I didn't edit it. Not that, not that part of the chat. The one you said, you are making some call to see how you can help him out. What would you say to somebody that is barricaded? If you are in the position, what would you say? He has, he has a GUN with him in his room. He's, he's completely completely want to pie himself. I don't know whether you understand psychology. He want to pie himself. Okay. He's in his room. People are outside. He's been barricaded. What negoci negotiating power would you tell him? How do you calm such a person down in that kind of hostile situation where you know it can be, it can go a different way? Okay. What would you like somebody is saying now, no, why is tell Andrew... The tell the audience, what would you tell somebody in that situation? Yeah. Why is Andrew comfortable sending you all those You can ask... Okay, do you comfortable asking somebody question? Do you have a friend you no, can send message to? No, no, no. For something that is incriminating. There's nothing incriminating. You see, you see hold on, doing. guys. I want you to be able to ask your questions in such a way okay. that our you guests will not you want the answer. Away. You are okay. Can I say answer. something? You ben, can I say something? Please. What we really care about is not bashing Ben. What we I'm care about is getting justice. Wait, you wait. are, wait. and I don't oh, care. I can oh, handle oh, you. Sorry. What we need is Chris. I beg, no vex, brother. Me, Chris, Mabi, no vex. Okay, Just everybody calm, because I want. Uh, you see, once vex don't come, he no go answer question. So please, let's put our questions in a respectful manner, so you may be able to ask all the questions. Ben has assured us that he is here. And he is willing to answer all any question where you like. Ask him. Just let's put it as respectfully as possible. So, uh, Chris, you want to calm down for make Samaria continue? Then we we'll come back to you. Well, fine. Fine. 
Okay. Samari, Sama baby, over to you. You were asking some questions yesterday. The Hello, everyone. Mr. Ben, how are you doing? I'm very good. How are you? Good. It's good to have you here. We have so many questions we've been looking, you know, seeking answers. To. I'll answer what I can answer. Sir, yes. Yes, please. I know. I know. Um, I don't know, but it seems like you're kind of well informed in this situation. I have a question. Okay, okay I have questions. One of the questions is this: You mentioned a while ago that um, when the girl reported to the police, mm -hmm. the police didn't pay her attention. Mm -hmm. When did you get to know about this? The girl said it on this platform. Okay, you didn't know about it before now. Yes, I didn't know about it. I didn't even know until I saw the girl on the on the on the Harrison stage. But she said it on this platform. So Because the reason why and you say you owe a blog, right? Yes. So okay, if as a blogger, if you have a, a website where you post other people's, you know, affairs and things like this, mm -hmm. and the whole time you were friends with the diseased, you were getting all these videos, all this information about this guy, you you like the, the one you talked about the last time on the live here, you said a girl was thrown from three story building. Did you, at a point, share any of these stories on your blog, on your page? Do you know what the deformation is? Do you understand oh, that would deformation? Be a deformation of character. Yes, because really? you have to go through the court process. I'm the I'm in the UK. Okay, hold on, hold, life hold on, honey. Mm -hmm. If it's it would be a deformation of character, and your facts were right, mm -hmm. considering the fact that this guy was the one sending you all these videos and all this information, he mm -hmm. was your friend. Mm -hmm. And genuinely, you try to speak out to the public, and that girl, you know, let's say whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. How would you no, have been a deformation of character if you had your facts right? Your moral judgment is not other people's moral judgment. Do you understand that fact? Do you I'm understand? Trying to. Do you understand that part of? Um, of course, I know that's right. Mm -hmm. okay. But then I'm listening. So what you see as your own moral judgment and responsibility might not be other people's moral judgment and responsibility. In this country, if you go into a shop where I practice, where I live, and you see a shoplifter picking something, and you went and stopped shoplifter because you want to be a hero. If you get into trouble, do you know what will happen to you? Can you explain you have if you're familiar with the word evidence. Out? You have evidences, right? No. I am asking you a question. You have evidence that a shoplifter have taken something in his pocket. And you went to be a hero, and something happened to you. What do you think this the more will say to you? No, we're not talking about more, we're talking about no. friends. You had evidence against friend, you, right? Question. First, Please. first of all, I wouldn't see so if I were to be walking in a shop and somebody comes in and steals something, and I can see clearly the person has it, I will call the security. That's number one thing okay. I would do. I won't confront them to avoid being why attacked. Would, Especially you confront, where why I would you confront because them? Of where, no, no, I would confront them if we were to be where I came from. But if you were to be where I live, I wouldn't do that because I know how the system works. Yeah. But do you know it will be. You can't. People will not attack you here. You know what I mean? Well, I, I didn't hear you, sir. In certain ah. parts of the world, I would confront. In certain parts of the world, I would not. They will allow you to only video you and that's it. Okay. Allow the police to do So the now I have a question for you. Please. Okay. You just, just, just throw me a question now. Can I ask you a question, please? No. no but how are we going to be answering questions with question? No, because you are asking me a question and I know the direction of your pattern. Okay, go ahead. go ahead. That's why I asked, did you at a point try to write about this act? I mean, those things your friends, you know, did. Write what? Did I? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. He, he told all you all this, people, right? For the Yahoo boy, you saw the police parading in the police station all every week. week in week out. Okay, another question do, if you don't do mind. You, I know you... No, 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 no. You are not finished, please. Let me finish the question you asked. Boy, you are telling me to write. The Yahoo boy, the police are displaying every day. The poor people that they are displaying. The young man that was displaying Benway the other day with a chain on his leg in front of the press. Why was Andrew not displayed like that in most of your stations that he has visited? It takes people to call people no. out. No, it's not about people. He's in the hand of the oh. system. Oh, it, take, it, it, it takes people, I would say that, because as a blog, if you keep writing, there has been a lot of people out there that we are written about, and then that led to investigation. No, if you my question kept, if you had evidences of what your friend was doing and you felt sorry for those victims, 
you would have written one or two about it and other blogs would have circulated it and people would have paid attention to it and it would have been investigated okay so that's the way i see it now because you have the evidence you are all of the people around you they are all good like everyone around you somebody that they don't bring they don't bring they don't bring their negative behaviors around me i don't they don't bring their negative behaviors around me their secrets they don't share it with me so he was sharing his secrets with no. you as his best friend and you knew most of the things he did were wrong the frame of moral judgment for me like moral judgment that is within the frame so a lot of you guys have made up your mind to look at ben as this almighty and accomplished and you look at andrew as guilty and you forget about the young ladies that we are still missing them and if you look at the conversation for the last few days most of you have pronounced my name more than you pronounce Celine and uh, the other young, beautiful young lady. So what is wrong in you guys promoting the whereabouts of these two people? Why okay, am I, I so I important? Have a question, in if you don't mind. Please. No, I am finishing my conversation, please. Because okay. the narrative is going to be there in the press tomorrow. What is so important in the part I play for coming out to instigate this conversation that is so important to you that you forget about the two people that are missing? What is so important? Important for you that you forget about the whole system that have failed these young people and you have called them out but you have infantry to come on the platform and tell me what you expect me to do no i just asked you a personal question as a blog and, and the next question i have is answer. this i i know that you are not harrison to know this but i don't know the i mean when you got involved in this case but the question i have is this you could not be when i get involved it could i made this case what the case is that is oh okay kit. okay I did you at the point kit. where you when you got involved did you try to act because i don't know the policemen involved i don't know the um i didn't have any um conversation with harrison did you ask them at the point when they still had this man alive did they bother to ask him where these girls are oh those are the questions you should be directing to the police that have him for two weeks that's what i'm saying but you were able to talk to the police since none of us is able to talk to the police the people in charge no, of this case but, they, but we're Harrison asking you been talking to the police so you can ask him i will leave that one for him to, to address and you can also ask the police ninja go to their twitter page and ask it tag them make sure you take this action to them okay when you since you say you made this case what it is yeah i believe your interest in this case is finding the missing girls right absolutely okay if i go and make myself available wherever there's a story or something of interest my interest would be the same where are the girls so when you stepped into this case did you ask them this question please who if i asked who, who did you ask the nigerian police did you ask harrison where are the girls what did they say about the girls what did he say asking, at the time he was I alive i've been asking about the girls in the day of this incident and the reason okay why, did they ask on, him when he was alive hold on. The, the day they discover the they remain i still don't believe I said, these girls may be alive. They should be looking for this girl, actively looking. I disputed it. I said, the story you guys are putting out does not add up. How many days we are, are there with the, How many days we are we are there with that guy before he 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 died? You're supposed to have known this one already, isn't it? I, if you're following the I heard case. four days. I don't know if it's right whatever, or not. Whatever is your go and make your research. No, you know better than us. No, no, no. Make your research. So Another thing is this, I don't know if you've addressed this before I joined the life. You made mention in your video yesterday that um, $50,000 was missing from that guy's house. How did you know about that? You can ask the police about it or ask the people that visited that house. Mr. Ben, uh, you seem very informed about this. Sorry, now. Ben. Um, that particular question, I think that particular question, because we didn't hear it from anywhere except you. Exactly. So you I understand. That la just oh, that actually, question. okay. Actually, did you hear that on the third? When Harrison and the same police that pied the, that pied the suspect along the road went back to the building of the suspect, there was no warrant, there was no authorization to go back to that building. When they went to that building, did Harrison come and inform Nigerian the way he normally speaks on behalf of the Nigerian police that there was four phones they found in that building? Did you hear it that day? On the third of June. Okay. So how did you know can, about can this? I ask, told can you? I ask a question? No, I asked you a question. Okay. Did you hear it? That we did not hear I, it. We did not hear it. Mm -hmm. Did you hear it that the freeze? No, I did didn't. Did not hear that there was phone found in that property when Harrison went with those cops. I think 
think I heard from Harrison. You heard from I'm not sure. Harrison many days later because I did my investigation and then Harrison heard what I'm digging at. And Harrison came and said, we found four no, one police stole one no, one this. I said, Harrison, why didn't you tell Nigerians on the first day you step your leg into that house, what you found, where you found it? So if you so are you trying to imply that the Nigerian police and Harrison looted the guy's I, house and they I'm made away with anything? You should make your own judgment. Okay, so how did you know that there were things in the house that got missing, or how did you know that those things were you know recovered from the house? How did you now know that there was phone missing that Harrison confirmed on his platform when he didn't tell you guys the Mr. Person? Ben? How did you honestly know? you are not answering our questions? You I'm, I'm must question. All right, hold you on, have. please let Chris, Chris absolutely please you have ask your questions now. I just okay, wanted to be a bit of calm. You see, you prepare for that's this question, question 24 hours. Okay. You see, you don't have a question. Sorry, you know, sir. Sorry, sir. Now, and then, one. please, the 50K question, yes. I would love if you can answer it. It's in the hand of the that's police. It. When I told you guys on this platform that there was 1,500 pound transfer, well, 1.5 million transfer oh, to the police, how many of you believe me? People think I was joking. When I Told you guys. I mean, we may not. I'm honestly speaking, I'm not interested in the money that was transferred to the police. I'm no, interested in how did you know so much that we're going on in the house? How do you know interested in the money? I'm only interested in how you knew so much and where the girls are. Listen to me. Listen to me. Why are you not interested in every crime you follow? You follow the motive. You no, no, because no, no. let me speak, please. If you don't let me speak, Samaria, you don't have never to said you know where those girls you are. Samaria, you never said you know. Follow the motive of the crime. The first lie was the logistic of the officers, the transportation, the sleeping in the hotel, the sleeping in Uyo, the sleeping in Benue. That is the first lies. So that put a pinch on the story, first and foremost. The second lie was accepting bribe from the suspect in the hotel room. The suspect felt kidnapped by himself. He stated it on a text message. Transfer money to them, 1.5 million. When I said it, people think I was joking. When the heat is on and the hierarchy of the police officer have admitted it, what did if they the time, have um, how the time to do all these transactions? So why didn't they have the time to ask where those girls are? You should be asking them. Because my friend told me I, they left my house. The police in Abba told my friend they were on a self kidnap after two weeks. They were supposed to transport this guy to Abuja to go and answer question. Instead of going directly to Abuja by flight or directly by road, they are cruising around the country for four days. Go and tell anybody how normal is this. And you are telling me, why didn't I ask my friend, where is the girls? My friend never told me where the girls. He said they left his house. Okay, so, so have him in other words, if you never ask them where the girls are, that means you are convinced hold where the girls were. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You don't make it tense. Your assumption, you can leave it on the comment section. If you tell me, I will have to reply you. The girls, the police have the girl. The police have the guy. The police confirmed to the guy that these girls were on a self kidnap. Their phone is ringing in nowhere. Are you listening? The same police have this guy for 16 days then four days along the road and then end up ending him who are you supposed to be asking question no i ask you who, who are you supposed to be asking question i have question for both you and the you nigerian no police and harrison directly to police Very no the police will need to question but they need to get a different police you know to you know go into this and investigate this matter. you call for different police all right to look um, at this matter? let me bring up chris no, sorry let me finish with this sister please how often do you call the police let, sorry sir how often do you call police out on your twitter on your instagram make a special po post for the police how often do you do that do, do you somebody do that? said the girls we attacked the locials uh, do you have anything to say about that no i didn't i have nothing to do with that i have nothing to do with that harrison tried to put that on me this is the problem and sorry, another thing you said that Harrison tried uh, in your statement, you said Harrison clone, um, hacked your WhatsApp. You now said Harrison tried to hack your WhatsApp. Ask him, how did you get my information? 
Which are the can you ask him? informations? You can ask him. Which yeah. are the information? Sir? When you come, ask him. He published okay. my number. Yeah. He published the contact on my list. Ask him. So you feel somebody compromise your WhatsApp? Can you ask him? No, no I mean it, this is it's, it's public. No, 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 no. You say, I want you to yeah, an so. accusation. Ask him. Are you happy? Daddy Chris, can I yes. can I say something? All right, Chris, over to you. Samaria, thank you so much. Bye. Stay on for one Bye. Do you want to leave? Uh, you can make the rest of the comments on the comment section. Let me bring Sabio. Chris, go ahead with your question. Let me say something when you guys were on uh, Daddy Prince, like you said. Andrew said, I have a blogger friend that I'm sending all these things to. Mm -hmm. if, if every, anything goes south, he will publish it. Mm -hmm. Coming in, in terms of, I will blackmail you. Now, let me say something. I, based on what Richard told me. Now, if he's doing all those things, and the same the same Andrew used Richard phone to start other people. And still use that same Richard phone to start Richard's friends to say Richard is going to see this guy. Meaning if Richard did not have escape, that guy he Andrew was starting with would have been arrested that he's the one that made Richard go missing. If Richard you see how innocent people they go prison sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is this. My only is, why is it comfortable sending you all those women NHKEG photos and the video like the one the Ghana girl was lying on his bed with Selena and take notes to me psychologically take something with weak no go there again. The week go come off of her head. But the girl was wearing the week, still comfortable still than the week on cover are two bobby. Now, why is it comfortable sending you those things? Who is the person calling me now? You understand? Why is it comfortable sending you all those things? That is my question. When you see, when you deal with a mind of a psychopath, you will understand exactly what goes on in their head. And I advise you to read some of the books of people with that kind of mental abilities. Okay. What you send to people is your responsibility. What they do with it is their responsibility i often okay. ask myself a question go ahead sir just one quick question sorry to interrupt your flow did you at any time ever tell him to stop sending you those pictures of course thank you of course okay i want you to okay hold on sir the police have this whatsapp right the police told me they have this whatsapp not just open whatsapp they can assess it let them go and see my chat with him and I want you to call Nigerian police to do that. And then you will come back to me to apologize. Because it's like I have become a therapy to this guy. This guy have a GUN. He could have go mental in that area and take people out. So when somebody needs to talk to you and say this, like when he want to pie himself, he call, he talks to me in the middle of the night. I calm him down and say, hand over yourself to the police. People deal with different situations, different ways. Your moral judgment okay. to not be used as my moral compass. You yeah. have to understand but when he's sending, when he's sending you those things, is there any time you ask him? What? What is the carry on do? Please, Jeff, one you know, minute, please. Okay. Okay. What okay. is the carry on Sending me what? What is he sending me that you know? The pictures. Like what Which Richard picture? said, he said Which I have a blood out from Which picture do you know? You the one is the one posted on your telegram, call, which one? Of the two girls, the, the Ghana girl and Selena, lying on his bed. Because I and the one who was you. screaming, I, the one who was screaming, oh my god, sorry, oh sorry, my god. Sorry, that sorry, one. sorry, sorry, sorry. I challenge him. I said, Rachel, who is Rachel? She showed me this one stole my watch. I'm like, but what about the other one? They said he's missing. I just sent the video to Daddy Freeze before this live. I sent it to Daddy Freeze right now. I sent it okay. way before so he can observe it and make it a good judgment about it. <clears throat> you guys have a half information and you go on and complete it. And it's not fair. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It is unfair. All right. I heard you yesterday and I was laughing like, what is this guy talking about? You cannot tell me when is he sending you all this thing? When is he sending you all this thing? If I was hiding anything, I wouldn't show it to Adotu. I'm like, this is not right. 
that shows you how consigned I am for the matter to highlight it to the public platform. But instead of looking at the advantage of that, the instigation I have brought into the matter, you are looking at me like I need to be the moral compass of Nigerian police and the authority that have the guy in their hand, in their cell, one, two, three, four, and they went and gave him two years and backdated it. You have a messed up system that's supposed to be talked about. You are talking about me. And some of you are telling me they will deport me. They will, I'm an accomplice. Let me explain to you, sir. I hope you are listening. I can never be accomplished, and I'm not an accomplice. And you are more than welcome to write petition, to call the Metropolitan Police, to do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. This is a system that works. They punish you for the sin you commit, not the one you didn't commit. So your assumption is on the internet, nothing more. And I don't want to speak to you about this again because I know you are not ready to be open, to be receptive for reality. You have a question and you have an answer and you're thinking you're going to attack somebody, not me. Talk to your police. All right. Okay. Thank you very um, much, Mr. Ben. Um, I want to first of all, really, truly and honestly appreciate you for taking our time to Thank come you, here to speak. Please just cool down. Please chill. Um, because I'm sorry, putting my face you to... know, I understand absolutely what I have a comment section I have to turn off on my blog, yeah, on my personal account because people come there and throw Harrison have 2,000 people group chat. Where he I understand, I'm group with group you. Group Hold group. on, save yourself, this place. please. Can you just Let's save yourself, him. Mr. Let's, you see why ben, they save talk. yourself? I did talk so that I don't go talk. I just thank, thank you. you. Yeah. You are you're doing well, uh, Ben. Please save yourself some stress it's the first time you are seeing me and i'm putting my face on this one oh, okay you, and the what i want to tell you is this i'm going to stand on the grants yesterday was the first time i don't know if you watched that video i spoke here on daddy freeze if you have had opportunity to go through it there's something i want to say first of all i don't know you Sorry. but i followed this case closely and i understand your valid points um so i want to first of all appreciate you for taking our time to come live thank you then secondly i want to let you understand that in every argument there must always be the louder voice and the lower voice absolutely so on this argument i know personally that i'm on the low voice side hold on first please i've not said anything please sir you are very emotional. Yesterday I made a comment here. I said, even though I understand what you are doing, I'm not too happy. We are all learning. Also know your, your weak point. Coordination, coordination. You know what I mean? You are very emotional. I can tell you are a very emotional person. I am. I you know? So, I am. yeah. So calm down. So what am I trying to say here? Even on this live session, there are many people following me that are commenting right now against me. They are surprised. Like, what is Sabrina saying? There are many. But there's one thing I want to tell you. I said to, to DF yesterday, mm. one thing I'm, I'm very sure of is that if you have anything to do with Andrew in the wrong way, mm. the Nigerian police have the capacity, the ability to bring you to justice. I am 100% certain on that one. Absolutely. So I'm now wondering why are we concentrating on what Andrew would have done okay. rather than thinking of this matter. Yes. What can we do now? What is the true situation of things? What can come? What, how can Andrew help? Oh, Ben. You ben. know? Ben, ben. Sorry. Sorry, I'm mistaking your name. Sorry, man. Thanks for that. How can Ben help at this point to be able to, you know, see what you know, the way you started initially, because initially, I believe you came in, because you were consigned for those two girls. Yes. So, somehow, somehow, this whole issue has been moved to people just blaming either Ben or, or few people want to blame Harrison, which is wrong. Let us focus. Two people are missing right now. Those missing people, whether they are alive or they are deleted, we need closure. We want to know what really happened. Absolutely. I want to appreciate you because it was you coming into this case. If not, this case would have been long dead. That is the truth. Even if anybody want to accept it or not. When you came into this case, 
That was why this case is still lingering on. Because in my own personal observation, those set of police, the bad eggs that came, their mission was to end this case. Mm. And their mission was to end this case by completely deleting Andrew and shutting down the, whole thing the down, entire yeah. matter. Mm -hmm. So I am not here. I have questions for you, but I want to put a platform before I go to my questions. So I want to please appeal to you. The questions that I'm going to ask you, my brother, I'm mm -hmm. asking you between God and man from a right. sincere heart. Yes. I don't, I'm not, trust me, I'm asking you from a sincere heart. I have nothing against you. So answer it with openness. Go ahead, sir. And if you don't choose to answer, just respond in a respectful way. I'm respecting you. I so this you. is my question. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I'm not going to ask you any question concerning what you would have done. That is, and I'm not here for that. So the question I want to ask you is this. I know this whole thing started from when you met um, one justice or so you went to drop in the airport. I heard that from you. Mm -hmm. And you showed the justice the picture or something and he contacted Arisin. And from there, Arisin got involved in this matter and all that. Is, is it true? first that there was a search in andrew's house by a group of policemen be before the second set of policemen came from claiming coming from abuja is it true yes or no you don't need to elaborate was there a search would you put your bet on yes or no there was you know you the andrew was there, arrested before there was, the, by the there was, there was there was a search okay like, Thank you. Patch. Thank you. The reason I ask you that question is because if there was a search in that house by a group of policemen, I don't think there would be any phone that would be be on top of that AC. There was 30 police officers. Okay. 30. And I 30. have spoke to them. They yeah. are 30. That is means you can call them out. 30 police from Abia anti-kidnapping team. Aba yes. and Umaya combined operation. They spent yes. over seven hours in the building. Over seven mm. hours in the building. Okay. So they did search. Yes. When I meet Toro Sarge, they have a video. I used of oh, that. Do you see why search. I have a whole, those kids are right? They have a video of the search they carried out. Yes. Save I'm yourself the stress. You've yes. answered the question. Yes. That is all I want to know. That question you just answered bring me to a point when I was analyzing this thing that there is no way police will search a house like that for hours and another set of police will come and will now find phone on top of ac mm -hmm. that means the police that went there before they must be the dumbest human being i've ever seen in my life okay that's number one then two question i want to ask you when these police that came are claimed from um abuja. the ig from abuja in all honesty you don't have the facts because you're not a police officer no but I'm in not. your opinion in your opinion hold on I I just okay go ahead to Say announce something. to you that uh harrison is on ground and is going to join us now his plane landed in lagos oh, so if you watch on That's youtube good. on facebook anywhere harrison is going to join uh bo please hold your question one second chris is there anything you want to say can i remove you and bring harrison Chris, I think yeah, it's, uh, I would like to go, but I just, I would like to go, but let me just, let me just answer uh, start them again. Oh, sorry. See, I should say this, and I'll say this anytime, anything. Hundred people can search a property, and they will not see what five people will say. That is why sometimes, when a crime happens, like in the U.S. that you are, what the police cannot see, some people will see and contact what they call. Private investigator, they go beyond what the police did not see. So it doesn't mean 100 people enter here, they must search everywhere. There are common places you can search, like 100 people go search, they don't see. So I am just stating that fact. Five people can come and search where the 100 people I might not go. One person just come and say, in phone here. I'm just, I don't want to say that fact. Don't bank on say 100 people search somewhere, they don't see anything. It means say, why 10 people can't search? They can't search 100 people, no see. Thank you. Thank you. 
at the place I'll go off so that Harrison can join. All right, God bless. All right, all right. So, so why you are bringing uh, Harrison? When Harrison. Harrison come, I will, I will stop. Okay, but keep okay. bringing okay. Harrison. Yeah, so ahead. my second question, sir, is this, my brother. Um, I know in my own opinion, I don't have the facts, and I know you don't have the facts yet. I want to believe that the set of police that came were actually. Do you have the facts that they were really sent by the IG of police? I doubt it. Thank you. The reason me, I ask this can question. Can I elaborate? Can I elaborate? Go ahead. Please. Okay, please. In the in what I understand is if IG of police sent for a uh, transfer of a, a suspect, there will be maybe five police officers, and it's a fast thing, and it will be sponsored by the police federation. They will move the suspect. Now that they use the contingents in that state to transfer the suspect directly to the state, directly from the airport, they will do um, um, close protection all the way to the IG office where they need to interview the suspect before they lock him up. So the idea of traveling four days on the road, sleeping in a hotel, eliminate any justification that IG send these guys. And the letter does not look, the letter say unknowing. I got the letter. The letter that they used, it said unknowing person on allegation of kidnapped. So it doesn't add to me. And this is why the police must investigate it. And this is what I'm calling the police, because it doesn't add up. Logically, it doesn't add up. Forget about our personal feeling. It doesn't add up. Yes. I would uh, agree with you on that one hundred percent because um, this is to save our country's uh, reputation. Um, I don't like it. We know the police is not good, but sometimes people on social media they lie to bring the police down. I don't think. Do you know what is the office of the Inspector General of Police? That the Inspector General of Police will give order that they bring a suspect before him. He don't even need to send somebody from Abuja. The DPO will wear uniform, eh? He will ready go airport, carry that person, eh? Go drop him with his own hand. So this is something I raised the question where I, I have my suspicion. So I think in this regard, a very good way to really dig the foundation of this problem, because yes, my opinion, I believe that Andrew would have talk would have said some facts that people would have heard under the police if he had really gone to Abuja. So this is my opinion. I believe that those police came to terminate him. Okay? The reason is they came to terminate so that this guy will not say the facts. Okay? Now, if that is true, we need to know who sent those police. Because this, the answer lies between who brought those police over to Abba and the missing girls. Then the third question before this guy come, because I'll go to the most important question. Yes, go ahead. My sir. friend, um, don't I worry, know you don't you ask know. Your questions. Harrison is trying to get his baggage. I'm following up with him. I'm chatting to him. Okay. okay. His plane has Thank landed, you. but he's still on the plane waiting to collect his bag. So you, we can keep the conversation going. Thank I'll you, just, sir. I'll just sir. be updating you. Thank you, sir. So now, but uh, since I have that one on my lips, let me just quickly pour it out. I know definitely, you know, I said it yesterday, we all have friends. I said it publicly. I said I have friends that I can say when it comes to this issue, I can stand for them, not that I can swear for them. I have friends that also have maybe one or two shortcomings. And you have said in your own words, that you know that Andrew has some, you know, woman or character issue with women, you know. So I want to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. This question is not a conclusive answer. Mm -hmm. If you were to stake a bet today, mm -hmm. regard, regardless of whatever Andrew must have told you, mm -hmm. let's say somebody come to you and say, I want to stake a bet, mm -hmm. you know. Where would you look for your bets concerning where those girls would be. I am not saying that is where they are, but 
what will be your belt? Because this is what we do in the U.S. When we are investigating something, we bring relatives and people who know how that person behaves. Mm -hmm. We use it to narrow down. It doesn't really mean that would be the right answer. Do you understand? So if, for instance, you want to help the family, forget what people are, people have mistreated you. Let's just assume you see Selene's mother today crying, oh, your leg, and he's crying. And I know you are a very emotional person. Mm -hmm. You, you, can, you will start crying. I know you. I can see your heart. If you I, see Selene's mother me down in front of you crying right now just imagine it i want to share tears as i'm asking you this question yes yes if they ask you give us just two or three tips not like it's a monster it's not a like it's a monster. where will your guests be tell me please when you say something like this it wakes me because i actually i'm a very emotional guy i could be very lousy but i'm very emotional and when i look at the first picture i almost cried in the with Adetun. I felt so sad. I'm like, this is sad. I feel, sorry, I, I felt so bad. I'm like, no, we have to do something about this. And in my heart of heart, I thought Andrew harmed this guy. I was 100% because first of all, he was, he, he want to take his own, he want to pie himself. Then I'm like, maybe he has done undoable that he want to pie himself. Then I asked him several questions. What happened? Did you do anything to this? He said, nobody. And I know his language. He always say, nobody, I didn't do it. He denied it, like literally. But for me, when I come live on that first day with Harrison, I was 100% that this guy did it. But when I look at this, the, the situation unfolding, I begin to question things in a way that at the moment, I will tell you, those police officers have more answer than I have about whereabouts of these girls because i do not believe that there will be a remain a human remain in a community for 30 days 30 days we are from nigeria i don't believe there will be a human a human remain in the community for 30 days and nobody raise alarm and people don't gather there and somebody go there and open it and say there's no hand and cover it back it's literally impossible then when you look at all the lies that are coming from the officer, the delay, the method they use, the method of execution of Andrew in, in, um, in a Benway, the way they basically manage not to damage the body of the car, the glasses was managedly damaged with a block, the bullet holes are not in the body of the car. It does give you some kind of hope that maybe these guys were playing a game. And let me tell you something. I spoke to one of the officers on this phone here. One of the officers told me that Selim's mm. phone was found in Andrew House on the third. And I, mm. I got it on the record. I said, what did you say? He said, Selim's phone. He told me, I know he may be listening to me. Sorry, I recorded you, sir. And I'm sorry about it. The officer asked me if I am recording this. I said, no, but I pick it up. Because that is a very, very vital information. Selene's okay. phone that was supposed to be ringing in, in um, Oweri, you found it in Andrew's house. And this vital information was not disclosed to the public. On okay. the third, when you guys went to that house, it's a travesty. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Actually, you answered that question, to be honest. You answered the question to the best of your ability. And if I hear you clearly, um, you said that if you were to take your belt, you would definitely bear that probably the guests were harmed in Andrew's house. Which, in that case, leads me to one question. However, you are saying that even if that was true, what, if I hear you clearly, you are saying even if that was true, the officer must, but they were aware or maybe they've gotten some information about that, but they still just wanted to abuse the system or something like that what, you know what, what i mean is, you know what i'm saying what i'm saying is let me repeat myself again in okay. case of the media that will pick it up please yeah. it's very important because this yeah. is a very important puzzle in this uh, investigation yes um what i say is this if i believe before before andrew Pai that he did it 100 percent, i am no longer yeah. in that belief i am now between, i understand your point the, i'm now between <laughs> do i believe 
the Umaya police that investigated it and said this girl were on a self kidnap yes, or the wife and who did it. So what are the hand of these police officers? What yeah, is that's what we are saying. Because that's of exactly the bad behavior of the police. So, and why is Andrew so comfortable mm -hmm. to hang out with the police for four days? Yeah. It doesn't make any logic. So, uh, but I want to explain this to you, my brother, in case if you don't know, mm -hmm. just so you know, we are both Nigerians by origin. Yes. Uh, you know, one thing I will tell you is this. Yesterday, I discussed this matter with a very senior citizen. Before I call mm -hmm. somebody senior citizen, you will be above 75. Okay? Yes, yeah. And Yes, and what he told me was that police will never pay Andrew because of 1.5 million that the money is too small. No. So, hold on first. So, that is to portray your facts, the statement you've made. Mm -hmm. I get it. I understand your frustration about the way police behave and all that kind of stuff. They, can, they might have even discovered that the guests were no more, but they still want to still do what they need, collect money and do whatever. And it's still possible that whatever you know so um i haven't answered that question the next question is this you know i know my friends i know people they hang out with okay i know people that they can call to help them in situations now i know the reason why andrew was calling you at least mm -hmm. i know one of the reasons i might not know all mm -hmm. and one of the reasons is because andrew saw you as a voice when i mean voice because if correct me if i'm wrong he knows that you have maybe your social media or you know news pressing or something like mm -hmm. that at least if there would be he didn't expect to buy but you know sometimes we want to tell somebody something we want somebody who can speak for us if you are not there tomorrow mm -hmm. or if we are inside prison or something mm -hmm. so with that being said i know that you know people who uh, a little, at least not everybody, few persons that are associated with Andrew and every other friends he keeps or, you know, workers and all that. If police come to you, mm -hmm. not this time, I'm not the woman, no, I'm saying mm -hmm. police. Mm -hmm. Imagine the IG of police mm -hmm. gives you the honor today and mm -hmm. say to you that, listen, I can, I'm your father, you are my son, I take my rank on this question help us solve this puzzle yeah let them buy you a ticket and come mm -hmm. i guarantee you nothing will happen to you mm -hmm. if they ask you today that within the andrew's environment when he was living in that house mm -hmm. can you name you don't need to give their name you can name the position mm -hmm. can you name two persons two more than likely persons that if andrew right now need help Let's say somebody help, help me lift something where heavy. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. And Olein could not lift it. Mm -hmm. But he need help for somebody to help him lift that thing. Mm -hmm. Who do you think he will call? Oh. This, Don't call names, so uh, just know, this is a very mention maybe friend, worker, whoever. This is a very, this is a very, simple, this is a very mm -hmm. simple question that you're yeah. asking. So let's put ourselves in our own domestic home now and see right. what do we do? And this is where the investigation is supposed to be thorough. Yes. Because when an investigation comes, what you do is look at the immediate environment, the immediate connection, and then you extend it a little bit. Then you extend it, you branch it out. By the time you yes. do that, you get the circle involved. You understand? Correct. So to be honest, I think without even naming anything, we all know who police are supposed to have been questioning in that immediate time. And I don't know if they do. Because no, 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 no. You, you've answered all questions very well. But to be honest, on this one, you did 50-50. My brother, well, you have been doing very well. I want to answer, because this is a very, very intelligent <laughs> question you're asking. And I'm not yeah. going to put anybody on a hot spot. True. I, I know if I'm an investigator, I know what I'll do. No, you can say, can okay, to. can I tell you something, sir? Yes. Sorry, I'm not mean to cut you. Let me ask what you. What I wanted was this. Are, Hold on. Situation. If you are the suspect and I'm investigating you, mm -hmm. what I will do, I will make sure your last 50 calls, I, I, I go through it. Your driver, mm. driver, I go through it. Your cook, I go through it. Your messages, I go through it. If you go through all these things, I guarantee you, if you do it, I will get a clue. Or if there's anything to be looked at. So those are the, and I believe, the police know this thing, so I don't need to tell them their job. 
So I believe they've done it and I believe they're doing it. So let, let us urge the police to do the needed. It's very important. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much for that uh, answer uh, you gave. You know, I know you are not more specific, but it's okay. We'll take it. Um, I didn't. I wanted some you are, specifics. You are, you, are, you, are, you are an investigator. Trust me. No, 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 no. <laughs> See the specifics I wanted, yeah. bro. I wasn't trying to say you should name anybody. What I wanted was, I'll give you an example. Let's say me and you, we are friends today, right? Mm -hmm. You know my home living situation. I know your home living situation. Mm -hmm. Let's say you know I'm a married man. Example, mm -hmm. I'm not saying I am. Example, mm -hmm. let's say I'm a married man. You know I'm very close to my mm -hmm. wife or something. Mm -hmm. And they ask the question, if Sabio was in a problem today, who will he call? And you already noticed that I'm very close to my wife. That was right? number one. You're going yeah. to say, number one, he more than likely either he called the wife mm -hmm. or he called one of his friends. I don't want to mention his name. But that is friend with them. They they very close. Mm -hmm. Am I making sense? Absolutely. So that was what I was expecting. Like because, for instance, I might be a guard driver. A guard finance trust me like that. Mm -hmm. So it's different between who is close to you. Exactly. You know, for you exactly. to exactly. do anything. Yes, now I can be a guard driver, but I'm not really confidential. You know, you can have one friend that people around there don't really know, but you yourself know that ah. Last time I went to Nigeria, there was this guy was telling me about that anytime one go do bad thing, I mean, I go go with that man, that particular guy. That's what I was expecting. Like, okay, there is, I will suspect a friend, but I won't mention him that he might call the friend. Not like the friend is aware, well, but maybe I can, I can, that I can friend. tell you those, mm -hmm. those that know Andrew in that community, he's mm. a complete loner. Forget about all, okay. all the affluence. He's a loner. A loner is a loner. Stay in his office, do his business all day long, and then catch his phone at home. He doesn't go out. That is a lot of people okay. don't know him. He doesn't go out. He likes to invite people to his place. That's what he does. So, but the problem is this: I expect anti-kidnapping unit as big as that name is to do all the thorough search of any link, any link within that space of a time and eliminate suspect, then question mark suspect, eliminate suspect, question mark suspect, okay. bring suspect in, indict suspect. So I expect them to do it and I believe they do it. Let me not just put them out like they're okay. not doing their job because as you okay. said earlier, 30 cops cannot come into your house and spend six hours and they don't do a thorough search. That would be, that would be an indictment on the whole state department. Okay. Like how did you guys go into that building? And two curtains is missing in the living room. Not a small curtain. One of the largest curtains are missing. And you did not see it. What were you seeing? Okay. All right. It's okay. Thank you for that. You. Uh, this other question is retrieved from your statement. Yes. Not today. Go it's ahead. a statement that you made in the past. Go ahead. Um, you, and you've been very consistent. Go ahead. You see, I've watched your videos. And one way that I can see sincerity it's consistency of the story, okay? So in your one of your videos, you have said that, which we all know that this happened in Nigeria, okay? Mm -hmm. Most people to today that are friends to police in Nigeria, mm -hmm. they are only friends to police because they've entered problem before. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. me, I'm not a friend to police in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. I have not had police problem in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you have police problem in Nigeria today, the same thing, and I'm saying this on public media. In fact, I have somebody that I knew way back that EFA, I don't want to mention their full name. You know what is EFA? <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 They came to carry that man years ago. But today is the one arresting people with EFA. In fact, if you have EFA problem, he's the one to call that will solve that problem for you. See, because he created this connection inside, yeah. He created this connection inside. So with that, be, that being said, I uh, totally agree with you that when Harrison, sorry, when um, uh, Andrew, uh, what is his name? When Andrew started dealing with the police, he made some internal connections, internal Absolutely. contact. Absolutely. And one of the contacts statement you made struck me somehow. You said in one of your statements mm -hmm. that. Even one of the police women 
yes. Harrison, um, uh, what they call him? Andrew, Andrew had an affair yes. with one of the officers. Yes, and I said, in that case, loud, yeah. Yes, in that case, when you have an affair like that with an officer, that is highly emotional. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so if someone says to you today this statement that if this guy had problem that very day like maybe mistakenly hit any of the guests even without intention of really deleting them who can let just picture it's a scenario mm -hmm. and something out of the ordinary happened do you think it would be out of place to say andrew would call that his police emotional person to come clean the dirty job i wouldn't say but it's not out of proportion in that kind of scenario but I would okay. say so okay. it's not out of proportion. Yes. Because so, but you know, that's why that's why that's why ethical is very important. The reason why um in every institution you are advised not to deal with a suspect mm -hmm. in that kind of close proximity, personal relationship, there has to be a professional barrier. And once you cross that, there has there can be compromise. And you can see Andrew have had multiple compromise. People have compromised compromise their position in that state when they give him yeah. uh, when they gave him a gun that guy sh is, should never be given and he said it listen a lot of people think this guy only sent me some yeah yeah he sent me he sent me article he sent me he sent me gun and said look at these people they gave me gun look at it they backdated it and all this kind of you understand so yeah. i'm not in this country at this also time look at this look at this oh i was stopped today in a bar I was stopped today in a bar and then they caught me and then I paid them money and they gave it back. They gave me back my my GUN. So all this kind of revelation, he sent it to me in his okay. anticipation that I can publish it. You understand? Because for him, he believed my blogger friend. So I got Daddy Freeze. Somebody threatened me. I'm like, I'm sending it to Daddy Freeze. But it doesn't mean I'm sending it to Daddy Freeze. I can say I know Daddy Freeze. He's got a big platform. So if you threat me, I will send your stuff to him. I will review your secret. To it's a natural thing for people, in, in natural, especially with his mentality. He used that a lot against this, uh, his victims. But obviously, I am never anticipate of doing, that, and he knows I wouldn't do that anyway. So my website Thank is you. a clean website, and it's not meant to be a blackmailer for anybody. Yeah. So thank you, Mr. Ben. Uh, the last question I will ask before I leave. Uh, Daddy Freeze, thank you for your patience. This will be my last question. Okay. And um, the reason why I have to leave, Daddy Freeze knows uh, everybody get where they get daily bread. So this is <laughs> the internet. Right now, I'm supposed to be doing my daily bread remotely. And um, I had to shut out my system because, you know, I can say I was doing this during my break time. So yeah, now, time. the final question I want to ask you is this. Um, do you mm -hmm. know why Andrew who named his company Black Sheep? <laughs> it's gonna be a long story if I if I if I if I tell you what I think is behind his thinking for that. Okay, that is another story for another day. But <coughs> the ideas where Nigerian got the black sheep from, I don't buy it. I don't believe in superstition. I don't believe in things like that. I'm not involved with it and I'm not going to talk about, I'm not going to go into that area. I want you to understand the history of this guy. He was rejected as a child, adopted by a Nigerian woman, grew up, met his adopted mom, rejected again, gone back to Nigeria again, then rejected in this system. His company is to used to call Gas Team. Gas That's what team. I, I was yeah. going to ask. Yeah. His company is Gas Team. So when he fall, I mean, when he fall, he named his new company in the UK, which is registered in company house as Black Sheep. So Black Sheep of the family. Would you think it could be something like that? So Black Sheep. So I see a lot of people doing narrative. They are his Jeffrey West shoe. Um, that is, if you know Jeffrey West, Jeff, Jeffrey West shoe, which is expensive British brand made in Northampton here. So Andrew is an, a brand ambassador to that company in Northampton. So he buy a lot of these shoes, this shoe it's not really my style but that is his style very very like leather so a lot of people are writing on the internet this shoe is black sheep shoe so the narrative is just <laughs> <laughs>
make sense for me. So I understand. You keep on making their own assumption. I want reality to be out there and emotional be out there. Right. Yes. All right. I wish you best of luck, no, my brother, I know for now. A lot because the guy is 11 years my friend in this community. And when he's in this community, he wasn't like biting people. Because if you do it, you go to jail in this country. So, okay, can I ask you a favor you. just before I leave, please? Mm -hmm. It's a personal favor. Go ahead. That yes. if I have in a room one on one with you, I won't have allowed the public to even hear this, this favor I want to ask for you. Act but I'm the kind of person that. I will not ask you to write me privately. So let me just ask you this favor publicly. I will do that, sir. So um, my favor, the favor I'm asking from you is this. Please um, try to reduce emotions. I know but it's I'm painful. I'm an emotional guy. Hold on, let me finish now. I understand. You, you, you are still displaying I, it. I've never asked I you am, people. <laughs> so you hold on. <laughs> so my, the favor I want to ask you is this. Um, whatever be the case, Mm -hmm. please um try no matter what not to be too okay. personal with everything okay okay yes sir. i understand that whatever might have happened both of you may have some differences here but i also want to tell you this listen my brother and later you're going to attack me not now yes to come you said yes. that guy told you this yes sir yes, sometimes sir. Eh, sometimes you might be saying something many people it will look as if the whole world is against you and if you comprehend about that too much it will affect you and you even lose god and give some you will turn to who you are not somehow Absolutely. it's only people you, watching you that will be thinking of that Thank so you. i want you to believe something just the same way i believe when i started and said i don't know you but i still say it that i know that god forbid if you have a hand definitely the, the police will know so therefore also have this belief that if you are telling people something whether they accept it now or not mm, take this as a consolation no need to attack another person a time we come if it is true who will see it Trust so me. We are, in a, we are in a media world, sir. And then if you don't we'll defend yourself, somebody will take No, I didn't say you should not defend yes. yourself. Yes. I'm saying, please, there's a difference between defending yourself and now, because if you are not saying you don't want to investigate something, police is doing their job, and maybe you are trying to point out fault from the other man, and everything is trying to point, the same everything will do the same thing. He's going to watch this. Mm -hmm. Trust me. I believe he will watch this playback or if you come here or whatever. So this advice is not just for you. I'm just saying that both of you should help us and help Nigerians. Because you. the devil, not devil like devil Christianity, I'm not there for that one. When I meet devil, the, the, the bad egg in this matter yeah, is bringing a distraction from the main point of this matter. Thank because you. I've never seen a society that two persons are still meeting, missing till today. You understand? See, mm -hmm. today, that the, the police of that state they are not giving us media briefing on a daily basis they are supposed to be giving media uh, a briefing so please just try and you know um and um and just take it easy then for my people in the comment section those coming in i want you to know one thing even if you have your doubts about this gentleman here for now it is common wisdom to allow this man to continue what he's doing. You can still be watching him with a little doubt. It doesn't mean you are a fool. Do you understand me? But coming to be attacking him, going to his comment session, your man not go settle down. You not go touch ground. You not go do this. You are not helping the family of those girls. Please, let us help the family of those girls. Let us help the family of these guests because I believe that if at the end of the day, Mr. Andrew and Mr. Harrison can come together again somehow, or Mr. Harrison and the police come together, or Mr. Andrew and the police. No, Ben, Mr. Ben, ben to, and Harrison. Mr. Ben, sorry, and the police come together, it will be a better fight instead of them fighting each other. 
So, Daddy Fries, thank you very much. I'll be in the background watch, watching. I have to round up before I log out for the day. Um, <laughs> trust me, I'm also emotional like you. Thank if you, there sir. is urgent need, I see anything, I will message Ms. you guys. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mr. Thank you. Before you say anything, before you say anything um, I want to say something to Sabio. Thank you for bringing maturity and wisdom oh, to goodness. the platform you, today. Because this is, I'm not a judge. I'm not an executioner. I'm not even a trained lawyer. So the mm -hmm. only thing I can offer is a platform where people can meet, interact, converse, and share ideas and opinions. That's and if we all started with bag, 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 boo, 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 we will not get any anywhere said. So thank you, Sabio. Thank you. Thank you. Because this lady also has a question. I'm going to make it quick Thank because you. Rachel also has a yeah, question. Good evening. So I have good Rachel. Rachel, send me a Don't DM if you're watching. Send Don't me more. a DM. <laughs> Let me bring you on. <laughs> my, my dear sister, I'm going to give you exactly three minutes. Ah, uh, why is it my son that? Don't be angry now? because there are so many people lining up. Okay, so I'll start from the um, bottom because I've been listening to the conversations and I've been picking some things from the conversation. But um, let me start from the very top. I don't, I don't know if you remember, Mr. Ben. You said the girls, Andrew told you that the girls left his house. Yes. And I've, I've never heard that before. This is my first time hearing it. I've been saying it. Maybe you, you haven't followed it. I've said okay. it every day, yeah. Okay, so um he told the police the same thing as well okay so, so yeah. you and you also said that you brought light to this issue i'm not here to argue brought light or not but i just want to put it straight that the very first time we heard about this issue was from Harrison, mm -hmm. not from you and Harrison has more um audience than you have mm -hmm. so even if i don't know if you brought if you actually contributed to some of the investigation or you brought some information to light. I also want you to know that Harrison, like he tends to like have more audience. People really had it from Harrison before we, I think where we started noticing you was the um, call with just um, Adetun or so. Mm -hmm. But moving forward, I want to ask some questions. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, you said that you've been friends with Harrison for 11 years now. Mm -hmm. so, so, like, have you guys ever hung out before, like, with some friends, family, close relative, or anybody of I, such? You mean in the UK? I don't know. In the UK, no, anywhere. It, so, have you in ever the UK, hung out? In the UK. In the UK. Since he moved to Nigeria, I think I've only seen him a couple of times. So, but in the UK, we, we meet, he has a family, has a kid, has a life, has a business. So, all this late life crisis that he encountered in Nigeria, he has the trouble, but he well managed it here. Okay. So, the, God, the system will never allow you to be okay, out so, of point. Yeah. So, I also want to ask a question, too. Right. Like, you said Andrew has a business and all of those. I understood where you said he has, he has a company before he moved to Nigeria in the UK. But in the last two years, like, do you have, like, do you, can you tell us, like, the job that Andrew does in Nigeria? And mm -hmm. does, does he have an office, aside the office that, because I understand that they discovered an office in his house. Aside that office, is there any other office that he has outside of his house? And if no, do clients go to his office to meet him? Does it um, entertain visitors in his office? I want to know. So, um, if I understand what his business was in Nigeria, he set up a gambling company over there. So, he got staff. So, when they go through the account, I will leave that one for the investigators. So, when they go through the account, they will see it anyway. So, I think he's got his, he's got his business there. And he came back home with money. So, okay. you come back to Nigeria with money, it will okay, sustain so you. Okay, so the only business that you know about that is the business is the gambling I know that he does. That you so. know that. I yes. dog. And is the business under the black sheep group name or something, or does he have another? Does the company have another name? The black sheep name. Still the black sheep that, name. 
that is this company's name that's, that's the company's name wow yes. i've heard about different betting company but i've never heard about no the, the black, black sheep is a company registered in the uk okay. so mm -hmm. when I'm you register a company in the uk listen when you register a company for example if i have a bitcoin company now and i'm trading the bitcoin i could trade anywhere i could be in dubai i'll be trading i could be in atlanta i'll be trading so as long as you have your laptops and you have a computer you do your trading so if you have staff that are trading on your behalf you just coin them and they trade on your behalf anywhere you are so that's what that, he was trading so i have yeah. to pass because i have, have a lot of questions so will you ever at any time consider yourself to be andrew's best friend or close no i have no never consider myself as a best friend i consider him as a friend oh okay okay so does andrew currently have a wife or something he's single when he came back to nigeria he's single and, and he, he has been in nigeria since the last how many years how, how did what do what do you read about him so far i don't know i've not read anything about you him. should have I read do, something about or, him i advise you to go read something about him he's but been you there are since here 20, by his friend and he's you, been you there since 2021 but i do want you to read something about him follow the news and then understand the, the pattern okay. of the man that you want to talk about yeah so if you don't want to answer some questions that's mm -hmm. right so um, no, you talked about, okay you talked about andrew being a rejected child adopted so i want to know where was he rejected was he born in nigeria was he rejected in nigeria no. where was he adopted where adopted parents does he have any siblings currently i'm not or in stuff like that? for the respect of his family I'm not in position to discuss that. So if you want to reach out to his family, do go ahead and reach out to his family. Keep your questions, my sister, about Andrew. Yes, please. <laughs> Don't go into his family because they are also mourning and they are also thinking about their loved one. Okay, yes. that's fine. So you said that um, there was a, a discussion here about the police going to search Andrew's house that some... you And you said about 30 police went to search his house yes. before and they did not find a yes. phone. Now, I want to, I believe um, you, I, um, there was an old video of you saying that um, the Abba police, I think, yeah, Abi, Abba or Abia police, I don't know. You said they um, withheld Andrew for about, I don't know, a couple of days. Two weeks. And at the two end of, weeks, not a couple two, of days, two weeks. Two weeks, two weeks, okay. Yes. And at the end of the day, they, say, they claim that the girls, it was um, allegedly self-kidnapped right did i said it i'm just asking so did i say it i don't know i'm just asking so where did you have that one from? i don't know it's all over the internet okay it was even maybe said you should verify life. from the but internet it was also said in this very life i'm not here to fight with anyone. no 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 it's not a fight also said, but i want you to go get your information right all right that. That question, moving, yeah. forward, moving forward for that yeah. more it was said on this life and again Finding the phone, another police coming to find the phone there. I'm not surprised because this is somebody that has been in custody of for two weeks <clears> in <throat> about police people, and they went to his house to um, look for a phone. People that claim that the girls um, actually um, kidnapped themselves. Mm -hmm. So I don't expect them to also go and search the house properly to see phone there. If you ben. like girls. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, my sister. Ben, I need you to do me a favor. Harrison can't join because you blocked him. Me blocked Harrison. Yes. Me. I don't oh, block he, let him. Me. Never. It must be a mistake. I, just never, I never block him. I haven't seen him on my timeline for a while. So I haven't blocked him. Never blocked him. Okay, check and unblock him. If not, I won't be able to bring him live. I got guarantee you i didn't i don't block people like that no harrison why would i block him okay okay because he can't come live let me check I, I didn't block him no he actually blocked me i believe so okay uh hello hello harrison if anybody blocks anybody else they will not be able to come to the live so please unblock ben Oh, this lady, did you block Harrison at any point? No, 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 sir. What's your okay. name? Maybe I blocked you. Oh. Not her. Oh. If she, you blocked her, she would not be able to come. So. 
No, I mm. didn't block Harrison. Or, or maybe what I can do is Harrison close is the line I, and bring you back again, just you and Harrison. My dear sister, can can we can I bring okay, you back fine, later yeah, yeah. so I can bring Harrison now? All right, son. No okay. Oh, okay, Harrison is here. No worry, no need to go. He can see me I, now. I just follow him back now, so obviously I think he's <laughs> blocked now. So I just follow him. All right. Back, so we're all right. Back. All right. So continue your questioning. Let Harrison join us. Okay, sir. Um, another thing that I want to ask. In the beginning of this case, you said you were scared. Good evening, Harrison. Scared of what? Yeah, good evening. You said you were scared of um, the police. I wasn't that... scared of the police. I don't trust them. What do you mean scared? You don't trust them? Yes. Okay, sorry. I'm not putting my words correctly. You said yes. you don't trust them. Because you also mentioned that you were scared um, of Harrison and that um sorry i said everything andrew sorry and that if you you will not be able to come to nigeria because you don't know i wasn't that... scared of andrew just let me explain don't put word in okay. my mouth please explain, i sir. wasn't scared of andrew i know the potential of betraying people if you betray me and i can i can turn it on you so i know the potential of betraying people when you trust people okay do you understand so i you know, once you All understand right. the repercussion of betraying people, okay. then you're very careful, especially when you're dealing with a system that is not right. Okay, sir. You said you know the repercussion of betraying people. Yes. Personally, I would be, I would only be scared of betraying someone when I know that they have something on me. If they don't have something on me, I would not be scared to betray them. And that's not betray. That's not betraying somebody. That is your wisdom. That is your wisdom. That's your wisdom. Okay. okay. So, um, you said that the first girl stole because the day that Rachel was on life, I was also, um, Rachel was on this life and you were on this life asking questions. I was also on this life. And you mentioned that there was a girl that stole Andrew's wristwatch. Right? Go ahead. Right? And again, you now said another girl, another of his victims, also stole his wristwatch and Rachel now countered you that Andrew keeps telling you if you claim that Andrew is telling you these things Andrew keeps telling you the same story like and how do you, like how are you able to believe that the first person I stole don't I and don't another person, be, I don't believe that, it okay I don't let believe me just it calm down. I don't believe let it just calm down. but on that day on that day that's yes. what he said that's that what day. he said that's what I said but I don't believe that... it. Okay. Okay, no problem. So, um, you need to go and watch my video. I have four-hour video on intensively on all of the stuff. So, if you can watch it, you watch so it. So, when Andrew was telling I'm not going to all this, answer no questions from you again. Okay, sorry, sir. I want you because you don't have time. But if you don't want to sorry. answer it, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Okay, let me move Before to Harrison come now. We don't TV. have much time. You need time. to go watch and video. I don't have I'm, on I'm on the road. I'm on the road. So, I just need Harrison to go. Harrison is on the road. I'm traveling. Go watch the story. Can I talk, please, sir? Go ahead, sir. My because this girl is not aware. He doesn't understand what's going on. So, he just asked him. She wrote it. If you understand, you don't need to write it. So go back okay. and watch the video from the beginning and watch what has happened. Then you can come and ask me a question. You don't write. You need to know the fact. Okay, I'm, my dear sister, I'm please. So as you. not to waste the time. Please. Yes. Um, Lisa, thank you very much for Take having care. me. Take care. Thank you for You're coming. Welcome. God bless. We have Harrison here. Uh, and I don't want to waste time. He's been on a flight. He's tired. I don't want to burn him out. I want to be able to get the best from both of them. Harrison, greet Ben. Ben, greet Harrison. Good evening, Mr. Fries. Good evening, Mr. Ben. Hi, Hi, brother. How are you? How was your flight? Thank you. Okay. Now, please, this is a neutral ground. Nobody is judging you. Any one of you, forget the comment section. If they start, if they get too toxic, I'll turn them off. We need this as a medium to express ourselves go ahead uh, i need to hear from you harrison and i need to hear from you ben if you've noticed ben throughout i don't think i asked more than one question and now you are here it's your table and I've, heard, I've heard the table down for almost two hours, an hour something now also yes so i'm not here to pass judgment 
I'm just here to bring clarity. Yes. My concerns are, one, where are uh, Celine and Afiba? Spied or alive, I want to know where they are. If they don't mm -hmm. buy me, we know say I hear the day. If they're they alive, may we know say I hear the day. Mm -hmm. Two, what happened with Ben? Who as with uh, Andrew? Who spied Andrew and why? Mm. That's the second question I want to ask. And that is what I hope will bring clarity to this. Third question. Was Andrew working alone or did he have accomplices? And that is all I want to get answers for so that this investigation can be made easier even for the police who are doing the investigation. So thank you all. Thank you, Harrison. Thank you for honoring my invite despite your very busy schedule. And thank you, Ben, too. So over to the two of you. Harrison, Ben has been talking. Is there anything you'd like to say? Let's start with you. Um, first, I want to start from where I took on the case. I did not jump into the case because I won't take I want to do a case or anything. Um secondly, all my pages are not monetized. So that people will not feel maybe um, I have a, a lot, I have large followers and I can easily give out my account to monitor my page. So I'm not using the case to make money or to trend on social media. That's number two. The only account I have monetized is my ex account. And if you check on these cases, I have not been post, post about these cases on, 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 on X, aside uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram, all right? Mm -hmm. And um, again, from the beginning, from the beginning, I don't know Ben from anywhere. I've never met him from any, any I've not met him, you know? And um, what happened, why I was against Ben from the beginning was because he knew that his friend, his bestie, his bestie, Andrew, is, you know, is someone who's, who cannot deal with women. He knew from the one. Because Andrew was in the same city with, with Ben in the UK. When he had, he did what he did, and he came back to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So Ben knew who Andrew was. Even when Andrew was in Nigeria, committed so, so many things he committed, Ben also is aware of it too. So, and Ben, as a journalist that he say, he claimed that he is, he has not, I have not seen certificates, I have checked all his profile to know who he is. Because, after, you know, when a case happens, he's trying to check to see who someone, who this person truly is. I have not seen, to, I have not checked anywhere to see either Ben is a journalist or a blogger. I want to know the one he is because I, I don't know. So now he has details about Andrew's, you know, cases in Nigeria, and he kept quiet. Not just that, Andrew was sent was comfortable sending him videos of these women in their vulnerable states, and he did nothing. In the first video he made with just Adiotu, I, I forgot how this pronounce her name. He made mention of how Andrew has been sending him those videos. And because he was scared of the authorities that he could not report Andrew or anything. That was what he said on that, on that first video. You can go back to the face and go and watch that video and then come back and then know if I'm lying or not. That was the period I was angry that how can this man know about this his friend who is who has done this now and he you know he could not report authorities. As a journalist, you should be able to know how to you know, put out information to the system for them to enable them, you know, hold this man down. So I feel that, I feel, not even, because I feel that he enabled, he was part of the people that enabled um, Andrew for him to have continued committing everything he has committed. Mm -hmm. Now, he said on his live video too that Andrew threw down a girl, Alison, from upstairs and she broke uh, 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 yes. I, I won't talk. Maybe the girl. I, on my own, I thought maybe the girl fell down on her own or was trying to run away and she jumped down. Ben said Andrew threw that girl from the uh, from the upstairs and the police in Port Harcourt, you know, handled the case somehow, took money and the girl was freed. The girl was paid money. The girl told me that a lawyer declared two million naira over so, that case and Andrew was so let loose. You spoke to the girl. 
Yes, I spoke with the girl, yes. and I'm even trying to bring the girl live on this program yes. so that he can yes. he can also say some few things connecting you and Andrew together. Now, again, this way, this these are the issues that I have with with uh, with Ben. Then, on the second thought, when Ben now said police took money from Andrew to aid his escape, I became more interested because at the first at the first at the beginning. I was not looking at the angle of police collecting money, police killing, uh, crying, crying uh, uh, Andrew. We were looking at how to get these two girls. That is where I was focused on how can we get these two girls. Where are they? Because the family contacted me, uh, uh, gave me a mandate to continue the matter, which I have a letter with me. And that was where that the point we were looking at. So if officers from the IRO that took Andrew to Abuja, Followed me to the scene, or followed me to anywhere to go and look for the for the girl. I was looking for results. How do we get these girls? Until someone called me and said that they, they are they are decomposed, you know, uh, uh, some uh, body somewhere somewhere in Ava, you know, Bo Hill. And we went there. And if you go to that community and ask them, they will tell you yes that this that the body has been there for almost a month plus. So it wasn't just captured and go and put there or by anybody. You understand? So that's justice. So for me, when I heard when I heard Andrew say uh, Ben said that police took money, I became more interested because for years I have been fighting against police extortion and police brutality. That was when I got interested. Then I said, okay, fine. I need to get this fact from from um from uh, from Ben. If I show you my WhatsApp conversation, you will see my chat with Ben on your live video. I requested that I got to connect with him on your live video. Uh, that be freeze. Then he not to take me off on Instagram. He dropped me his WhatsApp number, and we are communicating. And I told him, please send me the screenshot, the evidence of the payment Andrew made to the officers. So like for me, as I'm on ground, let me follow it up to know what really happened. Why was Andrew why along the line? Did he pay money? Then he gave me some facts, some information. He's here. He gave me, and I told him my strategy. I'm going to use to get these guys. I told him. Then. That is freeze. I went to Abuja to meet these guys over the money they collected from Ben after I've gotten the uh, information. From behind, Mr. Ben was not calling the officers on the phone. Speaking with them, I was kind of like, maybe Sorry. giving them like, um, excuse me, let me, to... you, yes, yeah, you were telling the officers, the one not team, you were like telling them that I have met with, I have spoke with you. So I was shocked when they told me that Ben, call, uh, ben you called them on the phone, you spoke with them on the phone. And uh, you even send me the information. I say, hey, this guy want to put me in problem because that was that was a clear setup from you. So I came to your WhatsApp. I have the chat. I was mad. I said, why will you call them after we discuss on WhatsApp how to get these guys? What even you told you? me to wear. Hold on. You told me to wear myself to put mic on my body to get information from them. I would, when I was on call with the officers, I told you to record it on your end, which you did. I have the WhatsApp chat. And you went and called them and told them that I am talking to you, and you even sent me some information. That was a clear set up from you. The officers now know that I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming towards them. I'm coming. Please let me finish. Let me round up. Let me round up. No, no, no. Let me round up. Let me round up. Please let me round up. Please. Let me round up. Please. Let me round up. No, let me round up. Talk. Let me round up. Then on my own, I have to. Okay, I have to lie to the officer. I said no. The guy there is working. We are working together to see how to resolve this issue. The money that you collected from Andrew, how much is this? He said uh, it's 1.5 million. I said, with which account? Bring it, I will resolve this matter. But let me have evidence. What I was looking at, what I was looking at to get evidence. If not the evidence, there's no way you can prove it that this is collected money. Because they took the money from an account that does not belong to them anywhere. So we got that information. Earlier, Ben told me that his ESC brother. Is already fighting to see how to get them to get that account holder. But in less than 24 hours, I got the officer to return the 1.5 1 million. They brought in 1 million for 70,000 naira. They didn't even give it to me. They gave it to a police officer who took it to one wire to give marvelous my colleague in one wire. Then I said, okay, let's go to Abuja to add this office to tender it and send it in this matter. That was what transpired. That was how. So so my anger with my what what happened was that Ben, after we discussed about this money, you have evidence that um Andrew gave them money. Give me receipt, he refused to give me receipt. 
Next thing again he did was to go and call the officers and said, Harrison is coming to see you guys. He has evidence and blah, blah, blah. That was set up by him. So that was all. Okay. Okay, Ben. Um, would you, would you like to share something? your side? Harrison, thank you for that um, elaboration. When you called me and told me you was going to see, because this, the police are listening to us right now, so, and I don't want to be going back and forth with you on this matter. The fact okay. is this, when I told you there was money involved, first of all, Harrison, when you came on Daddy Freeze the first day to narrate what the police told you that happened, how they pie and you, you did not narrate the correct story. I corrected it. That was where our disagreements started from. You told the Nigerian people on that night that when Andrew left, when they picked Andrew up from Abba, they were going to Abuja. This is what you told Daddy Freeze. On this slide, I have the record. That was the narration. I wasn't no. there. That was from there. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. I made the, I made the class. I know. The police That's told me saying. this. I yes. said, this is the story they told you. That yes. This is what they told you. And this yes. is what you told, told Nigerian people. Yes. That they were coming from Abba. Yes. And when yes. they get to Benue. Yes. So there was, there was a bridge in the information you gave on that night. Yes. Especially the night that Andrew was pie. And yes. I didn't hold it against you. I knew that was the information you have. The first thing I yes. told you, I said, these people are trying to use you. Mm. Don't be their spokesperson. Mm. I said, why is Harrison trying to make himself a spokesperson of the police? The police are supposed to answer for themselves. And I rejected it. When you yes. went... Okay. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. So... I told you, don't make yourself to be used by these people because I know what they've done. Then I begin to emphasize on the money they collected and I begin to emphasize that they slept in hotel in Uyo. They slept in hotel in, uh, in Benue. You was not aware of court distance. That is when I knew that these people were lying to you from the beginning. And then I tried to get your attention, but you wasn't ready. I tried to pay attention so I can start giving to you what I know that I have, like their room in Uyo, the video that they took, the consign of Andrew, why he was with them in Uyo. I have all those chats because he was telling me, I feel this officer kidnapped me. You understand what I'm saying? So I have all these yes. things. I'm like, why is Harrison telling Nigeria half truth right now? Doesn't mean you are lying. It's what they told you, but you are telling Nigerians. And I said, Harrison should stop talking to Nigerians. Let the police talk. And I went online and I began to call the police out. I did not just do that. I went to write a report about it and I submitted it to British High Commission Abuja. And I sent a report also to the IGO police. I went to their Twitter page and I told them about it. Okay, my problem with you, Harrison, is that you made yourself a spokesperson of police and you are not in that, that, posi you are not in that no. position for that. Your responsibility, sorry, sir, mm. your responsibility as a philanthropist that you are doing Yes. is to do the charity work that you've done by discovering the reality of this girl's fate or the fate of Andrew. Again, Harrison, why did Marvelous went to visit Andrew in Owere earlier? Why did Owere. your staff go visit Andrew in Owere? The same staff you know, that identified you know, Andrew. Uh, Andrew. Uh, Sorry, sir. Yes. The same staff of yours that yes. identified Andrew on the floor why he was already pie that say you ask yeah. the guy is it the guy you met you you go you went to see nobody he said yes so yeah, I know why, you know, you know, I have, the guy went to yeah. to see to identify andrew mm. and then yeah. he also took the guy to benue to identify andrew's yeah. men it doesn't okay. add up to oh, any logic okay, please let me clear that please can i clear that please so that you understand yes i have said, I have said it before now when i was contacted i don't base more i base now somewhere my is my state director in Abia state so when they got, when they contacted me that they, they arrested Andrew for over a week or two weeks, and the police are, are treating Andrew like a victim, um, a VIP treatment, and he refused to disclose the very whereabouts of Afiba and Selene. I now sent Marvelous to go and find out what is the situation on ground in Ohio. So Andrew, uh, Marvelous went there with uh, Selene's father. Selene's father to the Ohio police um, uh, anti kidnapping office in Ohio where he met with them, and then the police had told my fellow that, I said it before my, on my video, that, that Selene and her people kidnapped themselves. That it, so sorry, that it, 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 that
Yes, I'm, I, that's what happened. The police told Marvelous, I said, to inquire to know what happened. He now told you that Celine and Afiba kidnapped themselves to extract money from Andrew. And that Andrew is done. <clears throat> Andrew is just with them on safekeeping. That's what they told my colleague, Marvelous. So, Marvelous came back and told me, I said, and that's wrong. I now quickly wrote a petition to Zone 9, who are here. I have the corporate petition. That was the reason why Marvelous went there on my own you know, instruction to inquire of what happened. Because I can't so, post about, sorry, I can't post about Celine and Akiba. You so say? When Marvelous went there, the police yes. brought Andrew out to come and meet up with Marvelous. No, they only showed him. My, uh, uh, my, uh, Andrew was in the office with them. So that was where Marvelous now saw uh, Andrew. I think it's this way now. Yeah? Is it this way? So, so um, my I want to say that Andrew was in the office. Selling father was there with uh, Marvelous. So they now showed him that's the man that they have issue with. So because my, my colleague is a human rights activist, police always don't have any, police don't like to mediate, like to work with us. So they were like telling him, let's go, let's go, let's go. That they will brief you. They now took him outside and briefed him of what transpired. That those guys, they are suspected to be like, maybe they are self kidnapped to collect money from the man, and blah, 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 blah. So my colleague now told me, I said, ah, it's not, it's, it's not right. Let's put a petition to zone, zone now one here so that the case can be transferred. We were shocked to see that the people from Abuja came to take up the case. Then Celine in law, who brought me to the matter, now said, yes, that the Ghanaian embassy wrote, uh, met with the IG over the matter, or the IG over the matter. That was when the IIOT came to take over the case. I saw that was beautiful. And that was then, and I, and I had some. Until after six or seven days, the man now come and said, ah, you are not here from the police officer, so, I should please, can I happen to know where the officers are with us, maybe in Abuja? I should make calls. And I started making calls to know the office that um that they took Andrew to. Because from the letter of approval I saw they sent to me, it was uh, FCID. You understand? So this was what happened. So what else was there on my instruction to go and inquire of what transpired? So did, we don't just uh, post. Because sorry. the family was the family I'm coming, sir. The family wanted me to post about the case online. I said, I cannot post it until I hear from the police to know what transpired. Reason why Marvelous now went to that station to inquire before I now posted it the first time on my Facebook page and Instagram. So did, uh, and which date was this, sir? Uh, my first post on Instagram, I can My first post on Instagram, I can't remember okay, the date. Okay, that's fine. Yes. But when Marvelous my first went post on Instagram. To, because this is what I'm concerned about in the public. When Marvelous went to Umahia, to, yeah. You can ask me any question when I'm done. I will answer you. No problem. When Marvelous, no problem, when Marvelous uh, went to Umaya, did Marvelous speak with Andrew? Did they have a conversation? No, no. no did they have a never. No, never. Was Andrew rude to Marvelous. He did they didn't speak. Okay. No, he didn't because on your video, on yes. your video, on your video yes. that you showed in Otupo, when Marvelous yes. identified Andrew. There are words Marvelous say. Marvelous told Andrew, this useless man. This useless man. Because of, oh, what, he has, because of what he has done. Hold on, hold on please. Hold on. Uh, you are a lawyer. And I'm, not a law I'm not a lawyer, please. I'm not a lawyer, sir. Okay, behind bar. Behind uh, bar. Behind yes, bar. Yes, okay. yes. So, you are a human rights activist. Mm. So, the guy that was being pie on the floor have not been convicted. Yes. Marvelous have not had any experience with this man. Yes. Okay? Marvelous saw the man pie on the floor and Marvelous yes. abusing his corpse because of what he hears. Before, Do you think before we saw we, before we saw the Do you think it's okay? No, it's not okay. Before we saw it's very okay. If if we serve, I will even swear for himself, joy. Before before we saw the corpse, we already know we've already seen part of what this man has done. Rachel is one of our one deep team. The Hold gentleman on. victim. I listen. I promise, sir. I listen. I listen is a victim who fell down, who Andrew took down from upstairs. If I see Andrew, I will even nod him. That's for me. I'm telling you the truth. That, yes, I will leave human rights and I will nod him. You are a human rights activist, okay? I said I will leave and human rights and I will nod him. I'm telling you on the camera. Yes. Harrison, Harrison, this is where we have a fundamental differences because yes. I reason differently in my own opinion. You have oh. been to this. What inspire you to do this job you are doing is because of your past experience. 
No, you said I was convicted. You, you, you said I was, I was a kidnapper. I'm a robber. That's what you say your video. And you say you oh, didn't no. do it. You say you did not. No, 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 no. You see why you, 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 you misled, you misled the public. Now this, this is. Say, you misled the public no, that I was. Let me ask you a question, okay, please, pass. because this is the first time me and you are actually having a question. You say you did not do it, but they convicted you for five years. I was not convicted. You see the issue? Because you don't have facts. You are getting. You are getting stories from Google, getting stories okay, from okay, human beings, okay, and you are just killing the public. I am not in science, I am not convicted. Hold on. Hold on. Tell me, let me, let me, hold on, sir, hold please, on. let me so I can hold have on. a clear picture about everything. I need to tell you. I am coming now, I am coming, sir. I, I'm coming, I, now. I'm coming, sir. What I was doing? arrested, I was arrested in 2011 by SAS, Special and Service Squad. 2011, June 2011, I was arrested by SAS. Then I was a Driver to so my my a boss who complained that everyone's attacked her after I've left her after that I've I've resigned from my from the job and then she arrested me with Sana. I was walking with Amuba to her house. That was that was the reason why I was arrested. Taken from my to Lagos where I spent four years awaiting trial. I was going to court until court discharged me. The state acquitted me from the court. I was not convicted. After I left the prison, I got scholarship. I left Nigeria to the US. I studied civic leadership at Rutgers University, New Jersey. I was not convicted by any I mean. sort of competent jurisdiction, nowhere, nowhere. I have a book which I will send to you to buy. You will have to buy it, 4,000 Naira book, from prison to Washington, D.C. So when I say a post that you, you call me an arm robber and a criminal, if you are in Nigeria, my brother, after me, after come your house, come here for that for you tell me I where the person with me. You have said what that means you have said what that means on your platform. It's all good. No, I don't say I said you are you are, are, you are on, no I said you I said you are labeled I said you are labeled Andrew. I keep saying okay. it. I'm not lying. Okay. And you said why you why you did that was because you are scared. That is that your that is your that is your interpretation of the event. The question, the question I, I don't have any that. issue with you anywhere. I, because you are assisting me. You are assisting me recovering the money from the police. If you take my page, take my page, I recover money cash. I will post it, I will submit it to the ID, they will take it, and they will, they will arrest those officers who will dealt with. Okay. For, for what, I money wanted, from Andrew. what I was what I would have expected you to do is because this is a this is a syndicate. Of course, we have no rule out that these kids are miss are still miss are permanently gone. So we have yes. the hope that we can find them. So we wanted to know the POS. Harrison, did you give them the POS man that, that they paid money to? It's, it's very easy. I can't. No, it's very, but did very you easy. give them the POS guy? Uh, Were you the one that gave them the I, POS? Which who? Give which, which, the which, POS which, which, that which, the money was transferred to. Were you the one that uh, gave it to them? Give. Oh, I don't understand what you're saying. No, there's the asking? money was transferred to a POS agent. Yes. Did you provide it to those police officers? Because I, I know the, I know what I'm, the information I'm working with. I know. Hold you, on. You, you, you I can't. Me. I can't review that that money. Listen to me now. The money was paid to the POS or whoever they paid it to. All right. You which, which you refuse to give me the 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 this thing the the payment slip. So what I did what I did was to get the money from the officer. The officer paid the money to an officer in Umuahia who brought the cash. Now listen. Now it's not established that true. They collected money. So is this is the officer that will now go and bring an investigation? Police will have to they have retained the officers. They will now get the man who the officers transfer the money to, get him arrested. Are you listening? Then he will now be able to serve as a prosecution witness when it comes to trial. That's the procedure. I I'm think not the one to go. What, what I expect. I'm not no, 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 that's not the procedure, sir. I'm not the one to go and get the POS person. The police knows the POS person. They I will bring gave, it and I gave the account. For, I gave the account number out on my platform. What my I expected is now. you to Hello. do is not to touch the money. Because the money is a blood money already from the beginning. So you shouldn't have touched it. That's my own opinion. That's now. Now, like we discussed on WhatsApp. Okay. Like we discussed on WhatsApp. I'm sorry, please. I'm distracted. Okay. I'm so sorry. Yes. So, um... Um, Mr. Andrew, I don't know if you have followed me for years. Ben, please, Ben. I just started following you ben. on that day that was sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Of people have called I'm sorry. You and you, I say no, because please. I don't know. The name is just matching about. I'm sorry for using Mr. Andrew. Um, no, it's okay. If it's you have okay. followed me for years, all right, immediately 
officers, let me just, I know they are watching me, let them listen to me, so let, let it be as if it's record. And I don't want to review my strategy that we use most times. Because people are asking me, how do you get this money from officers? It's very simple. You gave me, you, uh, you gave me information that they took money from Andrew mm -hmm. at the hotel in New York. In New York. Mm -hmm. I requested for the sleep, which is not sending the sleep. And uh, you now sent me a screenshot of the hotel where they stood in New York, which I sent, which I sent to the... The officers. Yes, which I sent to the officers. And uh, they admitted, they started begging me that, yes, they took this money. For me, I needed to ask why and get that money from them. Getting that money from them is an easy bit. Which, if you check my petition, I wrote to the IG, I submitted, and I wrote, I said, right. 1 million... 500,000 was recovered from them, which can, which will be tendered as exhibit. That's how we operate for years. The police will now approve my petition and then invite me. I will now tender the money as exhibit. The officers will be brought to, they now ask them, this money that they are admitted, how come about this money? They will now write statements on how this money come. Up. Simple as that. That's the procedure. I won't say everything on camera because it's the strategy that we use for years and it has working for us so no, but in, the, in this country how they how they follow money uh, by account is account no, number. Uh, yes that Good. account number is the most important thing. that's how you follow money because Good. the pos the guy could have has... been collecting kidnappers money all along so mm. they're supposed to have arrested the pos guy the... as well he will be arrested that's what i'm saying because this case currently is being investigated by the public complaint bureau of the igp he will be he will be arrested, not, not, not just him arrested. The man who they gave the money to bring to Mwa here will also be arrested too. That's the procedure. That's the procedure. For the past seven so years. So that, that, that cash you saw, that cash you presented that day was withdrawn for you by the police. The po I, I, I said it. The policeman withdrew, transferred it to the, the police officer in Mwa here. The officer took the money from the POS and gave it to Marvelous cash. So Harrison, do you, know, do you know eh, we allow emotion to enter this situation between us? Because you see how we work together to recover that money. Yes? No, but you know, when you, my when you started blaming my anger, me, when no, you started blaming yes. me that no. I, I have a hand in uh, black sheep 